Gunpowder, one of the most significant inventions in human history, revolutionized warfare, mining, and even construction. Its development marked a turning point in technology, leading to the rise of firearms and artillery. But what exactly is gunpowder, and how was it made? In this video, we'll explore the fascinating history and the intricate process of making this explosive substance that changed the course of history. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. To begin with, let's define what gunpowder is. Gunpowder, also known as black powder, is a chemical mixture consisting of three primary components, saltpeter, charcoal, and sulfur. Each of these ingredients plays a crucial role in the explosive reaction that occurs when gunpowder is ignited. Saltpeter, or potassium nitrate, acts as the oxidizer, providing the necessary oxygen for combustion. Charcoal serves as the fuel, while sulfur lowers the ignition temperature and enhances the overall efficiency of the explosion. The perfect balance of these ingredients is essential for producing effective gunpowder, and the process of combining them has a long and storied history. The origins of gunpowder can be traced back to ancient China, where it was discovered around the 9th century during the Tang Dynasty. Alchemists were searching for the elixir of life when they stumbled upon this explosive mixture. Initially, gunpowder was used in fireworks and as a propellant for simple weapons, such as bombs and rockets. The knowledge of gunpowder slowly spread along the Silk Road to the Middle East and Europe, where it was refined and adapted for military applications. By the late 14th century, gunpowder became integral to warfare, leading to the development of cannons and firearms. To understand how gunpowder is made, we must first delve into its components. Saltpeter, the key ingredient, can be found in naturally occurring deposits or produced synthetically through a chemical process. In ancient times, it was often obtained from the decomposition of organic matter, such as manure, which is rich in nitrates. Charcoal, on the other hand, is produced by burning wood in a low oxygen environment, a process known as pyrolysis. This results in a lightweight, porous substance that burns quickly and efficiently. Lastly, sulfur can be mined directly from the earth, often found in volcanic regions, or it can be produced through the combustion of certain materials. Once the ingredients are gathered, the next step is to mix them in the correct proportions. Traditional recipes call for approximately 75% saltpeter, 15% charcoal, and 10% sulfur by weight. Achieving this precise ratio is critical, as even slight deviations can significantly affect the performance of the gunpowder. The mixing process typically involves grinding each ingredient into a fine powder using a mortar and pestle or a mechanical grinder. This increases the surface area of the particles, allowing for better interaction and a more consistent burn. After grinding, the ingredients are combined in a process called incorporation. This can be done either dry or wet. The dry method involves carefully blending the powders together, ensuring they are evenly mixed without introducing moisture. The wet method, however, involves dampening the mixture with water or alcohol, which helps to prevent accidental ignition during the mixing process. Once the ingredients are thoroughly combined, they are allowed to dry before being granulated into uniform particles. Granulation is a crucial step in the production of gunpowder. The goal is to create small, consistent grains that facilitate even burning and improve handling. To achieve this, the dried mixture is passed through a sieve or screen, breaking it down into granules of the desired size. These granules are typically about 1 to 3 millimeters in diameter. The size of the grains can affect the burn rate. Smaller grains tend to burn more quickly, while larger grains burn more slowly, which can be advantageous for certain applications. After granulation, 
The gunpowder is often subjected to a process called corning, where it is moistened slightly and pressed into cakes to form larger granules. This step helps to further stabilize the mixture and can enhance its performance when ignited. The corned gunpowder is then dried again, ensuring it is free from moisture, which could compromise its effectiveness. Once the gunpowder is fully processed and dried, it must be stored properly to prevent accidental ignition. Gunpowder is highly sensitive to heat, sparks, and friction, so it should be kept in airtight containers away from direct sunlight and heat sources. Historically, gunpowder was stored in wooden kegs or metal canisters, often placed in separate magazines to minimize the risk of explosion in case of an accident. Safety has always been a significant concern in the production and handling of gunpowder. Many historical incidents of accidental explosions have led to stricter regulations and safety protocols. Workers involved in the manufacturing process often took precautions, such as wearing protective gear and adhering to strict guidelines to minimize the risk of accidents. The impact of gunpowder on society and warfare cannot be overstated. Its introduction revolutionized military tactics, rendering traditional fortifications and armored knights obsolete. The development of firearms, cannons, and explosive devices changed the landscape of warfare forever. Beyond its military applications, gunpowder also found uses in mining, construction, and even in the entertainment industry, particularly in fireworks. As we look back on the history of gunpowder, we can appreciate how this simple mixture of ingredients transformed human civilization. It opened the door to advancements in weaponry, exploration, and industry, shaping the world as we know it today. The making of gunpowder is a fascinating journey that intertwines chemistry, history, and technology. From its ancient origins in China to its pivotal role in shaping modern warfare, gunpowder has left an indelible mark on our world. Understanding its components, production methods, and impact gives us a deeper appreciation for this explosive invention. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.